Vicky Ord, I'm born in 1938 in the Ukraine, in the city of Kortitsa. The uh, 1943, when the uh, Germans came in, we, we, we went ahead of the German army and um, looking for the West. And um, my father was taken and just my mother, my, myself and my sister. And um, just before the war ended, he was taken by the Russians and sent back. And he died of starvation. That's all we know. Everybody wanted to go to Canada, but we had no relatives in Canada. We didn't know that we had relatives. We only found that out later. And the U.S. was the next uh, place. They would said no, Australia or any Western uh, uh, country, they all said no, and Paraguay is the only one that uh, accepted us. The U.S. Army came and, and got us in the middle of the night and pa uh, packed us in the back of the trucks and got to the railway station, the one that was scheduled or um, sort of uh, hired by MCC to get us to Bremerhaven, to the ship that was waiting for us, the Follandam. And I, I, I remember the prayer meeting the night before and then uh, the army trucks, you know, with a covered back, everybody piled in the back of the trucks, and we got into the boxcars and uh, uh, proceeded to the to the harbor. Well, it was quite uh, traumatic for me because as we uh, went on the gangplank, uh, and uh, the men. Uh, had to be on one side and the women on the other and children and nine and older had to go with the men and I was nine and I was traumatic because I you know <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> what I didn't know is that the mother had arranged with other men that she knew to look after me and so we got onto the ship and uh, uh, we were with all the men, and uh, we were in hammocks and as piled tight as uh, sardines, as you can imagine. And um, so we were on that ship for three weeks, and uh, so that was our our trip. And uh, Peter Dick and, and uh, Frieda Dick were on the ship with us uh, the first trip. And um, uh, what I recall being terribly seasick, unbelievable, and. Uh, <coughs> The first island we stopped in was uh, the Canary Islands. It was the first time I tasted uh, oranges. Some of the citrus fruits, which I'd never tasted before. And ice cream things like that I've never had before. Because the trauma that we went through to get there, you know, through the war, the bombs and all that, and to get away from, from, um, uh, from the east or from, from, from the Ukraine or from Russia, uh, I had to heard the stories so much. And to be free, that's what the, the, the biggest thing was. You know, to, to have freedom. And we experienced that in South America, you know. It was incredible that there was no, uh, no bombs or anything else, no fear. Um, we lived there for five years, and so we came to Canada in 1952. I'm very grateful, yeah, I'm very thankful. Um, it's miraculous that we're here, really.